Okay, so I'm going to show you how to use some of the foliage tools in Clip Studio Paint, aka Manga Studio. Um, you'll find them up here in this little decorations tool. There's uh, ginkgo leaves, maple leaves, general foliage, some trees and whatnot that come with this, and then I also sell my um, special foliage hatching brushes too. And I'll show you how to use a few of them. So we'll start with the regular foliage um, brush. And maybe I'm going to make the particle size a little bit bigger. You'll want to make the particle size um, whatever size you need to fit convincingly within your perspective. You want to start out with a brush that's really large so you get a nice spread, so you get a little randomness. And then you're just going to make a few strokes here and there until you get something where you feel like maybe you can start to see a little bit of a tree shape. And feel free to delete as much as you like, start over if you want, you know. All right, once you have a shape that you kind of like, then you want to go and bring the brush size down. So your all of your um, your foliage, special foliage brushes will be close together, and then you can start filling in. You want to keep in mind your light source. I'll go ahead and draw this on another layer. So my light source is going to come from this direction. My shadow will be on this side. And the lighter portions will be on this side. Alright, so I'm going back here. I'm going to start filling in. Trees are really random, so you want it to look random. And it's okay if you have things that are way out of place, it seems. This is looking pretty good so far to me. So I'm going to go ahead and come over here and probably, probably use the G-Pen. The brush size I'm using is 37. Um, that A lot of the brush size will depend on... Um, what your pressure sensitivity is and how you've adjusted it for your own brush strokes. But I'm going to go around and just give a little hint of the edge of the tree with the G-Pen. Because where the where the light is you're not going to have a whole lot of detail but this gives it a little bit of shape. You can kind of see it happening. Feel free to keep on going back and forth between the G-Pen and the foliage brush. Alright, I have a base outline started. So I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of the tree trunk. Well, <laughs> maybe not. Maybe I'm going to fill in a little bit more, a little bit darker on this one side. Alright, now I'm going to do the tree trunk. So, the tree trunk does not have to be all black. It can also be white. I'm going to start with a white pen, the G pen, and I'm just going to go through this black area a little bit. And 
and put another one through here. This is all mm, pretty free form actually. You just make some random guesses. So here I have the start of my tree trunks going through the dark portion of the leaves. So it's already starting to give a little bit of depth. Next I'm going to switch to black and I'm going to go ahead and define my tree trunk a little bit more. I'll start just by outlining it a bit and then probably black it in a bit. You can use whatever textures you want to have on the tree trunk. It doesn't matter. You don't have to do straight up and down lines like I'm doing. You can do whatever you're comfortable with. One thing that happens when you use white and black in your tree trunk is this um, branch here that's coming off. It looks like it's further back and these two in the white are coming forward so you do get a little bit of depth. Then at the base you could add some, some grass real quick or whatever. Alright, so this isn't quite there yet. So what I like to do is go in here and choose the calligraphy tool. And my brush size is probably okay. You don't want to use a giant one. You want, you want the calligraphy brush to be about the size, maybe a little bit larger than the leaves that you're working with. Then I'm going to go in here and just kind of add some individual leaves. It just uh, makes it look like you spent a little more effort on it and doesn't make it look quite as fake and sterile. See, you can see it's starting to look, you know, kind of nice and has a nice old-fashioned graphics quality about it already. You you will want to change the direction of your of your tool. You don't want all the leaves going in the same direction. Another thing you can do is you can go back to your foliage brush and choose the white and then you can even um, go over the black and that kind of can give you more depth that way too. It also makes it look like these tree trunks are going into the leaves. So I feel pretty good about this little tree here. I'm not going to go um, any more into depth with it. But this is basically how you quickly make a um, black and white tree to use in, in your bongo backgrounds and stuff.